let's recall some of our previous lessons. Earlier, I showed you how we can create an empty location with the location create node and use an attribute copy node to copy the geometry attributes from a location in our imported assets hierarchy. Doing so converted this empty location into a geometry that we can potentially render. We also looked at how we can create a light location with the light create node, assign a render man light material, thereby converting this location to a render man dome light. And we also saw the artist friendly way to create the same dome light in the last lesson. But how is this all related? To answer that question, let's take a closer look at the GAFA3 node. Here we have a GAFA3 node with the same dome light we created in the last lesson. Control plus middle click the GAFA3 node to view the contents of the node. Let's ignore everything but the root package for now. Control middle click on the root package to step inside this group. And next, go inside the Pixar dome light HDRI group. If you notice the nodes that I've highlighted here, you can see that it is almost identical to the manual setup we did before. GAFA3 is what Katana calls a super tool. With the knowledge that the functionality of these tools are built by reading and writing attributes on specific locations, I hope you can see how it becomes the building blocks of turning any idea into a tool. In the next lesson, we will learn how to use cell statements in Katana.